I want to share today a concept that I had that maybe could be of help to people out there. Um, it's a concept that I've created recently to help me um, with my own issues, um, specifically that have to do with self-worth. Uh, so I know that if I was watching this like a long time ago, I might not have like recognized, like I would understand what the term, the definition self-worth means, but I wouldn't have been able to connect it into my own story. So I want to try to find a way to speak to that part of myself in all of you. Basically, if, if you think you're a bad person for anything that you've done, and I don't care what it is, like it doesn't matter how devilish or Hitlerish or whatever it is, if you think you're a bad person for something you've done, you're not. You never have been. You never were and you never can be. What you are is good. Bent out of shape. And that is what people refer to as evil. There's no such thing. Everybody's scared about it. Everybody's fighting it. There's proof. Like people do things that are incredibly negative, but that's all it is. It's just negativity. It's something that is built and designed to operate naturally good. Doing something, usually out of some kind of conditioning or some kind of fear that was absorbed into, the, into yourself or it, whoever you might think about in relationship to this, changing that person's nature into something that they aren't naturally. But what you are naturally is good. You're naturally good. So I say this again, if you think you're a bad person, you're not, because there's no such thing. You can't possibly be bad. There is no bad people out there. You're just afraid. And that fear that you think you're a bad person is, in a sense, evil. But like I said, there is no evil. <laughs> That's only just a misunderstanding of who you are. It's creating the expression of what people call evil when they're living in a kind of like woo-woo sort of state. It isn't real. You're not bad. You're, you're not bad. You're not at all. You never have been. You never could be. So I, I built something really simple. You can carry it with you everywhere you go. It's just a saying. It's just a really simple saying. Um... I call it a breadcrumb. And I call it a breadcrumb because that's the way I've used it. Just like Hansel and Gretel getting lost in the woods, the breadcrumbs are what they use to find their way out of there. So when I find this in myself, what I do sometimes is get lost. And then when I recover, I create a breadcrumb for me to like find my way back. So the first breadcrumb I'll give you is... If you're in hell, the only way out of hell is heaven. Because if you keep going through black and dark and negative things to try to get out of it, and then you just get suckered back into it, you just slide back into the hole, that's not actually the way out. It's all based on the idea that you think you're evil. If you base everything on that belief, which is what it is, you're gonna end up proving, physically speaking, in your world and your life that you are evil when it's not actually true. And if you really look for the proof that you are good, you're gonna find it because it's, it's real. You know, the sun shines on all of us, right? Because creation is inherently good itself. It's just... This is what happens when there's trauma in like a species. This is what happens when there's injuries and things like that. It's like if someone becomes injured, you might look at them as if they're evil or something like that. But, but 
if you really cared for that person deeply, like if it was like your husband, your wife, your, your daughter, your son, or your parent or something, right? Like someone, uh, like a close, close friend or something, someone you really, really cared about, someone you really loved, you would see them for who they really are, not just the injury. But when we go out into the world, people don't know us. People see, you know, our behavior or whatnot. And that's not all that you are. You're the whole being. So if you've grown up with injury around you, or if you've been traumatized in some way you might not even be aware of, you might express yourself as negative when you aren't. That's just not who you are. So you might get, like I have, to a point where you think the only way out is to, to just to try to work it out or something like that when there's nothing to work out. It's like the simple answer, the clear, simple answer is you're not guilty. It's like what you've done wrong does not define you. You're deeper than that. You always were. And the way to get out of that literally is to accept good things in your life. That's the only way out of hell is heaven. Let me put it this way. Heaven is so amazing that literally it will even allow the creation of hell within it. Because it, only, it has the money, it has the bankroll <laughs> to be able to achieve that, if you know what I mean. Like it needs to be that good in order to be that evil. So if you don't prefer your hell, you're recognizing your goodness because you know you don't belong there. You belong in heaven. So just quite simply put, accept any and all gifts, any and all good things in your life. Just let yourself be happy. Just just accept like love wherever it might come from. Like if you say nobody's going to love you, walk down to a friggin' pet smart and play with a dog because they just know themselves as they are they can't like create the complication that creates evil right unless they're severely injured most of them are probably going to just start licking or like wag their tail or something like that if you're not into dogs i mean you get the point right like like go play with a stuffed animal right go enjoy the sunshine because that's that's who you are. That's where you are. That's what you are. That's what life really is. And if you can't, if you can't really like see that, do nothing. Let yourself just be. There's nothing to do. There's nowhere to go. You're just here right now because that's who you are. That's where you are. That's what you are. Um, so yeah, I'll say it again. The only way out of heaven is I mean, sorry, I reversed it. <laughs> okay, so I'll say it again. <laughs> the only way out of hell is heaven. My name's Summer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please like, comment, share something positive with me because this is what I'm going through too. Um, and I think, I think this is really the answer, like simply put on a lot of levels for a lot of things is just... The only way, especially for humanity itself, the only way for for human beings to get out of hell is heaven. It's just accept the gift of of life, of love. Just accept goodness where it comes. Let yourself off the hook, right? Like let's stop the let's so, let's soft let's stop the self incriminating and the self bashing and let's stop the bashing of other people's because normally who you are is going to be like who you are to yourself is what you're going to be to the outside world if you're hard on yourself someone else will come into your life so that you can be hard on them so that you have a relief but now if those people start leaving your life the only thing that's going to happen is you're going to end up being hard on yourself that's how it is I and mean, we're all mixed up with each other so a lot of us are just taking like the assaults that we each are giving ourselves from other people heaven's the only way out of hell 
Um, yes. So like and subscribe. Um, let me know what you think about that. And if you disagree, disagree. Because that only creates something for me to like prove what I'm saying. It helps me to work this out even more clearly. So thank you so much. And have... Let yourself have the kind of day that you want to have.